The airplane itself is just spectacular. The true testament to the engine's reliability and its performance is that the pilots say that they never think about it. Wherever it's needed, that engine will go and it will fly properly. The F-117 is an incredible engine. Our customer absolutely loves the engine. They work. They simply work. It's a perfect fit for the perfect plane, and uh, it's been that good. The core of the engine and the major working uh, pieces of the engine are inherently identical to the PW2000. Because it's a commercial engine developed for the Boeing 757, the government, when they looked for an engine for the C-17, they could lean on a product that Pratt Whitney had developed that we had funded the development of and to avoid that development cost. And it's paid off in spades for the military customer. They absolutely love this product. The F-117 engine is the revolutionary part of a C-17. It had the ability to go into desert locations. It had the, the opportunity to, to airdrop at very low altitudes in very austere locations with horrible weather, weather conditions because the performance of the engine allowed them to get into those places. Its primary mission, of course, is to support our troops. So it's carrying all the supplies they need from medical to uh, weaponry to um, spare parts, food, water, you name it. They use it in a very challenging environment and the engine delivers uh, day in and day out. They take off from very short runways and unimproved runways and uh, having reliable thrust when you don't have much room is paramount to executing the mission. It bangs in with things like tanks, uh, 150 troops, and backs up, takes care of itself on the ground. Watching something that's as big as a C-17 back up and do a three-point turn and essentially parallel park itself amongst others is pretty amazing to watch. It's a really remarkable engine. It's, it's amazing to me how durable and reliable it is. We've seen gallons of sand poured out of the bottom of them and still operating flawlessly when they come in for maintenance. The abuse the engine can take and continue to perform is truly remarkable. The thing that was special about the C-17 is, is that they were 100% operational every day because of their F-117 engines. And when the air commander required a C-17 to conduct a mission on short notice, it was always there. We talk about, you know, powering freedom and, and you look at it and you say, that's, that's, that's it right there. Often during times of hurricanes or tsunamis or earthquakes, the reporter's on the ground and all you see is rubble, you know, throughout the area, but there's a C-17 parked in the background that brought supplies to the refugees or the, uh, the victims of this natural disaster. I'm very proud of the, uh, the humanitarian uh, accomplishments the C-17's been able to deliver. Um, I've been aware of a, of a number of missions, uh, rescue relief missions in Pakistan with the flooding um, and, and other relief missions to Haiti. We had a uh picture of the C-17 in our local newspaper. And I just remember like I just had this chill down my spine uh, when I saw the picture because it was like, wow, you know, that is our, my program. You read about some medical evacs out of uh, Antarctica and there's only probably one or two aircraft and this being the primary one that's, that does that mission. You see that airplane coming and you know what's coming is, uh, is aid. Knowing what they're doing, it makes me feel very proud and I take a lot of pride and all the engines that I work on. You know, there's a, a lot that went into building this engine, and it's proven itself over and over over the years. And it makes you very proud to know what these engines are capable of doing. The people who worked on this program, a lot of pride, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of support for a really good program. The production team in Middletown is outstanding. They have a lot of passion and pride for the product as well. You can definitely see it when you visit the line in Middletown. It's a very dependable engine, a very reliable engine, and no matter what circumstance it's being used at, it's going to function properly. You see this behemoth of an aircraft up there and you go, wow, just imagine the enormity and the weight that that thing can hold and, and you're like, we make the power plants that drive that thing. You know, It's just, it's really awe-inspiring when you think about it. I think the legacy up to now is the, the conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I think the humanitarian missions that are so important. The mission, the metrics, and the reliability of this engine are absolutely world class. They just look right hanging from the wing. I mean, the four engines, it's a beautiful, beautiful aircraft. It's just been a great engine, a great product on a great plane. 
there's two emotions. One, proud of what we've been able to achieve as a company with this program, and two, sad. To see the actual engine not being produced anymore, it's, it's, it's like the end of an era. This has been a part of my life, and yes, it is part of my life that's going away. And I'm definitely gonna miss this engine. It's been a great run. It's been a great run. You know, 30 years plus combined between the 2000 and 117. You know, we'll take that. We'll take that any day.